Sussing it out, chapter 13, Gray's Nation. So, I am Rick Sussman, the Sussman, whatever you want to call me. This is Sussing It Out, more importantly. That is that guy. I got cats. I got the nerditude. Let's do this. So, a couple of weeks back, well, technically a couple of months back now, just about two months on the nose, I started this new diet, um, the M7 diet. Went over that a little bit yesterday on the uh, on the regular blog. Went over it a little bit on the video blog. We're going to do a little bit more with it today. Um, I have really stuck to my guns on this. I've really kept my diet in check. I've only uh, allowed myself the seven food groups that are within the M7 diet. <clears throat> but something very unexpected has come to pass uh, in my time on this diet. Um, I'm noticing food more. Not that I'm hungry for it or, or have desires for it. I'm just, I'm just noticing it. I'm seeing it. It's on my radar, I guess. Perhaps because I've, I've eliminated so many foods from my diet, uh, I miss it or I'm looking for it or I, I, don't, I don't know. It's neither here nor there for the point of this vlog, though. What is here nor there is that I've noticed without a lot of difficulty that people who come in and out of the store that I work at or people who I just see on the street or, you know, in general, I, I see humanity as a whole now constantly grazing. Um, there is a, like a pretzel stand um, about halfway through the mall that I work at. It's not exactly close to our store. Um... But minimum two or three times a day, I mean absolute minimum two or three times a day, you'll see people coming into the store with, you know, just hand to mouth, just hand to mouth, hand to mouth, wherever they go. Are they looking at comics? Are they looking at posters? Are they looking at the big TV that has the advertisements? They're just, they're just eating. And if they're not eating the pretzels, they're, they're, they're buying the little uh, snacky stuff that we sell. And they can't get out of the store. They can't even, they can't even get to the end of the, the counter before they got to crack it open. Uh, this is thin people. This is overweight people. This is middle-of-the-road people. This is guys who are in great shape. This is girls who look phenomenal. It is no, there's no, like, specific sect of people that do this. It's, it's, it's everyone. It's absolutely, it's everyone. We, we've become some odd nation of grazers. Like, we, we can't stop looking down at our phones, and we can't stop shoveling stuff into our face. And I think I have an answer for that. I think I know what the reason is. And it, 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 it is partly to do with the fact that we are a very overweight nation. And my, my own experiences with... I'm sorry, my hair is really bugging me today. I should have tied it up. Um, my own experiences with weight is documented over and over again. And it's, it's something my parents have gone through. My father and my mother both mildly struggle with their weight. My mother mildly. My father a little bit had a little bit tougher time with it. Um, it life is what it is. But I don't think that kind of weight gain, because my dad put on a lot of weight when my mother uh, and he had my sister and I, um, and sedentary lifestyles being what they are, I think that might have had a lot to do with it. I think what today we're seeing with this nation of grazers um, is a very isolated uh, group of people, uh, a group that does not want to talk to each other no matter what. So if given the opportunity of shoveling another thousand calories into my face or actually, you know, asking somebody how their day is going, or maybe sitting down and actually engaging in conversation with them, I would probably assume then that most people would choose food. Um, I was lucky enough to have lunch with a very good friend of mine. Um, the past two days, I had lunch with my buddy Kai, who I mentioned, and I had lunch with my buddy Ronnie the other day. And um, as I'm sitting there eating both times, both, uh, both situations, we were engaged in a good conversation about all kinds of random stuff and whatnot, but I, I couldn't help but notice their attention drifting away. Um, that's not to say they weren't paying attention to me or that they weren't engaging in conversation and, and they were being absolutely fine in that regard, but they couldn't focus directly on me. And of course I was shoveling food into my mouth, so I couldn't focus directly on them. And so I, I, I sort of was able to make the connection there that that we've sort of lost some of our uh, interpersonalness and we're replacing that with food. And I think the reason why we lost it might have a lot more to do with our cell phones than anyone's willing to admit. 
Cell phones are wonderful. They keep us in contact with each other. I was telling um, another friend the other day that we don't really need things like um, uh, family reunions or, or 10th anniversary school reunions, things like that, graduation reunions. We don't need those anymore thanks to Facebook and instant messaging and things like that. If I want to know how my buddy um, who lives in California is, I could text her right away. If I want to know how my cousin who lives in Colorado is, I could post on his Facebook and he'll see it in the next, you know, five, ten minutes, whatever. You no longer have to send a letter in the mail in order for it to get to where it needs to go. Um, you no longer have to call someone and have an actual voice conversation with them. You could be completely silent at all times and still have an, an entire conversation with someone. And I, I, I think part of that is... We now don't know what to do with our faces. We don't know what to do with our mouth holes. We can't enunciate. We can't pronunciate. We can't engage in conversation. Maybe I'm looking too hard at this. Maybe maybe this isn't such a huge deal. But I, I tend to wonder. I, I, I have to believe as our, as our society gets less and less personal and more and more vague, will this be a major hindrance? Well, well, the fact that we have to graze everywhere we go. Oh, what do, you, what do you want to get a pizza? Yeah, let's get a pizza. Do you want to get a hot dog? Yeah, let's get some hot dogs. What if we go to a situation where there is nothing to graze on? Would we actually discover, oh my God, I can talk to this person again? Or is it maybe that we've wrapped ourselves up in so many uninteresting human beings that we call our friends that we're not willing to accept the fact that maybe these people have nothing to offer us? When was the last time you were able to sit down and just engage in a conversation with someone? Could be your wife, could be your best friend, could be your buddy, could be some person you met on the street. Just engage and be engaged. Now get bothered by your phone buzzing. Don't do any of this. I'm not saying that I'm so much better than anyone else because God knows I am guilty of all of these things. I wouldn't be able to point them out if I wasn't guilty of them. But... I think it, it, it does bear repeating. I think we've become a nation of grazers because we don't know what to do with our heads anymore. We 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 are this is this is the new this is the new humanity here. This is it. And if we're not doing this, we uh we don't know how to interact. There's an entire generation of kids coming who don't know how to talk to each other. And I'm part of that. I was, a little bit. I was the very very beginning, I suppose. But there's going to be an entire generation of people who won't be able to sit still. You know, we can call it ADHD, we can call it ADD, we can call it whatever the hell we want. But the fact of the matter is, without being able to learn how to be still, how to just sit and relax, uh, it's going to be weird. So start now. Put down the hot dog. Put down the pretzels. Put down the cell phone. Ask the person that you're standing next to, if you have someone to stand next to, how you doing? And then when they say, oh, you know, I'm doing right. Actually, ask them. Really ask them. What's the worst that could happen? You find out you really like somebody. You find out that they're a really good person. At any rate, this has been Sussing It Out, Chapter 13. Really got to stop ending my blogs by saying by any rate. It's getting annoying for even, even me. But I will talk to you guys very shortly. Thank you so much for following. Thank you so much for your comments at the bottom. Thank you so much for the texts and the, and the Facebooks and the MySpaces. Not that last one. Uh, and all these other things that you guys are doing to promote and, and to let me know that you're really enjoying my, my views. Thank you. I thank you all very much. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a good day. Or don't have a good day. <laughs>